Hello again, it's uh, Port Ponky with another video on Better Terrain, my plugin for Godot 4. Um, this time we've got a quite an unusual tile set. We've got some sort of blocky dirt that you might see in a, a sort of platform game, as well as some connectors and slopes. So there's a, a few different aspects to this tile set that you might want to all connect together. Now this is a kind of tile set you see quite a lot, where um, you have tiles that can be used in multiple ways. For example, this tile can be connected like that, or like that. And it can also connect upwards or, or downwards, or it doesn't have to. So it fits, this tile here fits multiple different use cases. So, how can we make a uh, terrain for this? So I, I've got a dirt category, and I'm going to make a new terrain called block dirt and while well, that color is fine I don't really mind that's gonna be a type of dirt I'm gonna put these basic tiles into there and then I'm gonna connect them together with the dirt category so using a category here will just help everything connect together at the end so once we've done that we can uh, draw with our block dirt and you know it looks okay. Could do sort of levels, that sort of thing. Stuff sort of connects okay. Everything looks not too bad. But looking right here, this tile is better off there. There's a a nice connector there and there that we want to use. So let's go in and add these connector tiles. Now how would that connector be used? Well, it needs to have dirt either side and above and below it. And similarly, so does the right one. These ones are much simpler. And the dual connector has it on both sides. Now, that obviously isn't quite right because it's going to start placing those everywhere because it can't tell any difference between the tiles I've put in. That's the same as the center tile. So when should it use, uh, for example, this tile versus the center tile? Well, the center tile really has dirt all around it. I put these a little bit too close together. Let's make a space. There we go. Whereas this one has dirt to either side and above it it will probably be that kind of dirt. So underneath we don't really mind, but certainly for above, the full dirt tile has diagonally up and left more dirt. So we want to go back to here and uh, put that in. In fact, we can do that for the whole row. And similarly, these connectors that don't have grass on the other side, we'll need to fill dirt in. And there we go. That should actually be enough. Let's see how that f fills out here, okay. If I just paste over it, it'll fill everything in. Now that's working pretty good. You can draw around and if you see, it fills the little connectors in, so everything's looking pretty decent. But it's not perfect. So this one didn't get the right one. Only if it has dirt underneath will it get the right one. And similarly, if you were particularly eagle-eyed, you'll notice that didn't get the right one, because it doesn't have dirt underneath. So actually these tiles are looking for dirt underneath in these cases, but not in all cases. It wants to use the same connector in two different ways, but we only have one tile. Well, that's okay. We can go and create an alternative tile for each of these. And if we go back to our terrain, we can see our alternative tiles. So we can make new versions that don't look for dirt below them. So this one only looks there. This one has both sides. This one looks to the right, and like that. Now, of course, we've got the same problem. These dirt tiles have to have diagonal checks for, uh, for neighboring dirt. And now, there we go. Now we have something that works really nicely on such a limited set of tiles. And uh, I don't know what shapes to draw, but I think it should handle just about anything we throw at it. 
even though there's only certain tiles. There we go, that's looking really good. This would be quite a confusing level. Okay, what about the slopes? Well, if we think about the slopes, uh, it's really kind of... Uh, I'm going to draw a specific shape here. That will probably give away what I'm about to do. It's kind of like a a diagonal brush, really, isn't it? And here's some at the top. So it connects up the top. There's no bottom connector, so that would just go down the side there, I guess. That doesn't look quite right. Um, dirt in the middle is fine, and down the bottom, one of these. So we really want a brush that's... or, or terrain, I should say that's of vertex matching type and this is going to be called uh, let's call it diag dot, I can't type diagonal dirt. I don't want it blue, I'm going to make it green. There we go. And that's a type of dirt. Okay, so that's going to include these and for the peering bits, well let's think about how that connects in terms of vertices, vertices, the corners. So these corners all have an empty tile neighboring them, but this one is all dirt. So for these, only the inner corner is all dirt. For the the one that's mostly filled with just a little bit in the corner, well, only the other corners are filled. The one, the corner that's got grass neighbors an empty tile here, so it will consider that empty, and the mirror image as well. Similarly, the uh, diagonally um, down sort of corner tile here only has dirt in the top left or top right. So there we go. We've got a, a brush. Oops, I need to go back onto this one. And that can indeed make sort of diagonal, but it can't understand the center. It's not got any of these extra bits. So once again, we need to make alternate tiles to complete this brush. Uh, there we go. So now we have sort of left, top, middle, bottom and right tiles. So let's fill those in. And that one faces left, that's the middle, bottom, right. There we go. So now, yeah, now we fill that in and we get a nice shape. These diagonal tiles, they need a few tiles. If you just have one sitting on its own, it doesn't look too good. It's only when you connect them together they start to look sensible. And because I used the uh, category system, these should just connect right in here, just like that. So now we have a pretty nice sort of um, system where we can uh, put slopes or connecting blocks. So just like that, we could make a nice little platform level. I can make the bottom of the islands something like that. There we go. And of course we can mix these so I can just do that sort of thing. Easy peasy. And there we go. So you don't have to have a full set of graphical tiles to make a pretty decently connected system. If you use alternate tiles cleverly and think about where you're going to put the, the peering bits, you can come up with something that's pretty versatile even with just a few tiles. Uh, this one just has 27 tiles and they can connect all over the place like this. Here's the uh, peering bits. There's the types. And uh, that's what the tile set looks like without anything. Hopefully that's helpful to someone. As always, post a comment if you found this useful or, or don't. I'm not your dad, so... Um, Alright. Okay, bye.